Ever since I decided to delete all of my social media, I've been getting this question quite a bit and I never really know what to say in the moment. Like I kind of fumble my words because um, it's, I don't know, I still have this like weird feeling towards being one of the only people in my social circle at least who doesn't have any social media. So they'll be like, man, why'd you get off Instagram? Why You're not on Snapchat? You're crazy. Like what, what's wrong with you? So I wanted to make a video and just fully explain why I deleted all of my social media besides YouTube. So going all the way back to my eighth grade year, that is when I first got on Instagram and Snapchat and I think Twitter as well. And those ended up being the three main social medias that I was consistently using. And so, you know, I was using them like any middle schooler would, just being an idiot. And then I was on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, like I said, all through high school. And I didn't really, I didn't ever think that it was a problem, you know? It never occurred to me that maybe my mental health was deteriorating because I was using these apps. But because like, why? I didn't care. I didn't know anything about it. I just thought, oh, this is this is fun to use. This is awesome. I get to see what all my friends are doing. Like, this is great. And every morning, the first thing I would do is scroll on Instagram and just scroll through my feed, see what's up, see see what I'm missing. You see what I'm missing? And then, oh, over to Snapchat. Check who Snapchatted me. Got to respond to my Snapchat streaks and keep those alive. Like, it was just a constant thing for me in high school and I never thought anything of it. I just thought it was normal, everyone does it. So what's the problem? And you know, the funny thing about these platforms is that everyone's putting out their perfect life, you know, their, their highlights of their life when in reality their life is not that good. It's, it's all fake, social media is all fake. I know if you're watching this, you probably, you might agree with me, but it's all fake, it's all bullshit. Then there's me who's looking at all these people's lives, their highlight moments of their life, and I'm in there scrolling on my phone, looking at their life, thinking, damn, that's really cool. I wish I could be like that. I wish I could do that. I wish I looked like that. And just ruining my, you know, my mental health, making me feel more and more just like down on myself because I didn't have that cool of a lifestyle or something like that, or I didn't have that nice of a body. And you know what they say, that comparison is the thief of joy. So I'm just robbing myself of my happiness basically because I'm comparing myself every, every day, every morning. The first thing I would do was wake up and scroll on Instagram and compare myself to whoever and whatever I was seeing. I want to explain something which you might be able to relate to. Um, there were actually times where when I was on Instagram consistently where I would agree to go to certain places because... I thought, ooh, maybe, like my brain would tell me, oh, maybe I could get a nice Instagram post if I go there. And instead of, like, literally, I'd be thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could actually get a cool post to put on my Instagram so I could get all these likes and validation from everybody. And I would go to these experiences. Like, for example, I went to a Celtics game. Um, I've been to a few, but I went, I remember at one time in particular, I went to one. And the whole time, it was like, I was thinking about how, how can I get a cool picture for my Instagram? I wasn't even focused on the game. I wasn't even focused on having a great experience. So that's that's one of the things that was just crazy to me. Like, like looking back on it, that's when I'm now realizing, wow, that is such a problem. And I feel like I'm not alone when I say that. I mean, I'd go, I'd agree to go places with my friends and think, oh, let's get a nice Instagram. Like, I wouldn't say it out loud, but I would be thinking like, damn, maybe I can get a cool picture for my Instagram or a cool or a cool video for my Snapchat story so other people will see it and think I'm cool because I'm out doing shit. Like, I can't, I can't be the only one who thinks that way or who thought that way because obviously I don't use it anymore. I remember just, you know, through the wind, through whatever, seeing videos that social media was not good for you, right? You were it was actually making you more depressed and I was one of them becoming more depressed from using these platforms and at the same time they were addictive so every time you're scrolling you're getting dopamine spikes from from going from one picture to the next or one video to the next and constantly getting validation like I have I used to have like multiple snapchat streaks whatever the fuck those are those are so stupid and constantly getting validation from people sending me pictures, 
me sending them pictures. And like I said, I'm, I'm finally realizing like, mm, maybe this is a problem. I, I definitely feel like I'm addicted to these apps and they're definitely not helping my mental health. But I couldn't get over the FOMO, the fear of missing out. So I would think about deleting them like, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's, let's delete them, see how I do. But I never actually would for the longest time because I was so scared of missing out. I'm like, what, the, like, how stupid is that? What am I going to miss out on? And, but hey, that's, that's how these apps get you. They're, they're designed to keep you on there for as long as possible. And they don't want you to miss out. Everyone in the freaking world has social media nowadays. I mean, not everyone, but. Most everyone around me has social media and I'm like one of the only people that deleted it and I feel I feel free. I feel amazing. But yeah, I had that I had that fear of missing out on whatever the hell was going on on those apps. I also had a like I didn't know what people were going to think of me. Like they're going to are they going to judge me? Are they going to think I'm weird? Which in reality nobody actually gives a fuck. Like my friends don't actually care that I'm off social media. They probably wish that they could do it themselves, but one step at a time, baby steps. And then fast forward maybe a year or two and it's 2020 now. And this is when I, I got onto self-improvement, started bettering myself, started bettering myself physically, mentally. And I actually finally got over that fear of missing out. And I, I realized like no one's gonna care if I get off these apps. Not one person will actually care. If they actually care, who cares? Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I started to really recognize the downsides of having Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and those are the three that I had and I started recognizing how Awful it was and it was just robbing me of my time and my attention and actually the thing that made it click for me was I was watching a video on YouTube and I remember the guy saying if you're not making money on these platforms then what the hell are you doing using them and that hit home for me I was like oh I just, it felt like such a relief to hear someone say that. I'm like, why did I never think of that? Like, what the fuck am I even doing on there? I'm not making money. I'm just seeking validation. I'm just posting pointless shit that no one cares about. So I finally, I finally made the leap. <laughs> I actually deleted my Instagram account completely. I didn't just delete the app. I deleted my account, got off it. And then I actually, for... A little bit was debating oh damn do I delete snapchat like I this is how I talk to a lot of people I just kind of realized wait a second I'm a grown man sending selfies to other grown men like something something's not right about it. like I think I, I'm I'm over here like we're all out here I don't even remember what I was I don't even remember the selfies I was taking but how like I just I remember thinking like there's not any point to doing that like ah I could go on a rant about this but if you're a grown man on Snapchat man and you're still taking selfies sending it to other grown men you may you may say well I I Snapchat all these girls I Snapchat women but dude who the fuck cares it's just a waste of time just a waste of time you can meet women in real life that's where the real connections are actually made. Ask for the damn girl's number. Don't ask for her Snapchat. Like, what are we, 16 years old still? Like, that was a high school thing. So, that was my debate. And I, <laughs> thankfully, decided to just fucking get rid of Snapchat as well. There was no point in keeping it. On Twitter, who the, who, who uses Twitter? I got off Twitter as well. And the other thing is, I was, like, debating, like, damn, do I delete it? Because how am I going to talk to my friends? Well, they have my number. So if people really needed to get a hold of me, they could just text me. I can text them. I can call them. They can call me. Like any of these any of these excuses I kept coming up with in my head, I shattered them. Okay? I destroyed them because they weren't actually real reasons to keep these apps. They were just like I said, excuses. So finally did it. Deleted all 3. Besides YouTube, so the reason I kept YouTube is, and yeah, I think YouTube is social media, but the nice thing about YouTube is you can choose what you're watching. It's like you can choose to consume things that will help you and that will help you grow as a person, help you learn. So YouTube, I think, is great. I've learned a lot about improving myself on YouTube. I've learned a lot about a lot of things on YouTube that have helped me grow as a person. So 
just don't use YouTube shorts like that. They're trying to make it into like TikTok with these YouTube shorts. Oh, yeah, I'm lucky too that I didn't get into that I didn't get into TikTok cuz I know how freaking addicting that is. So, I ended up deleting all social media. I think well, actually, no, TikTok was out probably in what, 2019 or something like that. I don't remember, but I never got into that crap. If you're still using TikTok, you're a fucking idiot. Get off that app. Like, what are you doing? You're just watching little girls shake their ass. Like, get off that app. You're fucking creepy. Man, I can't, I can't believe I even, even have to say that. But anyway, I got off, deleted all my social media besides YouTube, started to see benefits right away. I mean, I had so much more free time. I wasn't immediately waking up and scrolling and ruining my dopamine receptors first thing in the morning. So I became more happy. I wasn't seeking all this validation from other people. It was the first time in my life that I started to actually love myself and, and grow my own self-love. And because for my whole life, I was constantly seeking validation from other people. My happiness came from other people. And finally, I started to feel whole and happy with myself. And I think a lot of that did come from getting off social media, among other things. But But deleting social media was definitely a big part of that. Um, and like I said, more free time to actually do productive things. And I thought I would miss it, but I didn't miss it at all. I didn't miss it at all. It was a great, it was like a blessing for me to finally do it. And I never looked back and still to this day, we're, we're three years later. I've been three years without Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter and any social media for three years without any of it. And I don't, and like I said, I don't miss it at all. It's, it's been freeing in a way. I still can, I still talk to people through text. Like I still am able to call people like people, like we, we hang out in real life. Like you you know, that real world stuff where we're not just zombies looking at Instagram all day. Like that still exists. So anyway, <laughs> Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my rant and I hope you actually got some value from this video. If you're trying to delete social media, maybe this video helped you. If you haven't ever thought about deleting social media, then maybe you are now and that's great. But subscribe to my channel right now. I'd appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.